Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Meghnath. In this module, we talk about inheritance. So we already learned about encapsulation. So encapsulation is all about creating a class and putting variables and methods together into it. And that's encapsulation. Now we talk about what is inheritance and we directly start off with an example and then we'll try to understand um, more about types of inheritance and all. So let's get started. Now to explain inheritance, I just open Eclipse IDE and I'll be writing here file new project and this is like a project so as we are into 34 so let's put 34 lecture number click on next and uncheck this module info click on finish I'm creating a new project called project 34 and as usual first I'll add a package add new package I'll write here my package and Inside this, what I'll do is, I'll create a new class, new class, and uh, let this be uh, having main method, and I'll write here the class name as my class, and which will have main method, okay? So this is how we have been doing it right from the starting of the course. So I just created a new project, added a new package, and added a class, my class. Let me delete the spaces and let me remove this comment which is unnecessary. So we're done. Now, now what I'll do is inside this package, I want to have a class called algebra. Now, let's take I want to have a class called algebra class algebra. And inside this, let's take for example, I'll add some methods here. So public int add int a comma int b and this will return a plus b. So what this method will do is, this method will add, take the two parameters uh, a and b and returns the sum. Now I'll write here public int multiply int a comma int b and this will return a minus b or a star b. Now in algebra class, I have two methods add and multiply. Now how will I access this method add here? I have to create an object. So if I want to access this algebra class in my main method, all I have to do is algebra obj or, or something a or obj is equal to new algebra. Now I want to add, let's take syso control space obj dot add. Now when I write here five six, now I'm calling the, using this object. I'm calling this add method. I'm sending parameters as five six. Now what happens? This 5, 6 will be assigned to this a and b and it will return 11. That 11 will come back here and this will print 11. So now when I run this code now, you will see here it will print 11. So I'm just calling it. Now, what if I want to create one more class which will have total maths and now this total maths, my requirement is I want to have these two methods because it's total maths includes algebra plus let's take I want to have subtract. Now I'll write here public int subtract int a comma int b and I'll write here written a minus b. Now in this case my total maths is having only one method subtract. Now I want these two methods also in this total maths because algebra is a subset of total maths. Now what I'll do here, I'll copy this. I'll put it here. Now when I write like this, this code is not good code because I'm duplicating the same methods here. Whatever I have here, I add, multiply, I have the same methods here. So that's not good because in future, now let's take if I want to change this, some, someone, we want to follow new coding standards, add should be changed to addition. So I have to change here and I have to change here. So I have to change all the places where our add is there. Now instead what we can do is we can do something called inheritance. Now now what is inheritance? Let's see this. Now I don't duplicate the code now. I just delete this. Now I don't write the same methods that I've written here. I don't write it. But still I get these two methods using inheritance. So I'll write here extends. Now space. What is a class this is extending? This is extending algebra class. Now I just wrote here algebra. Now in this case, when a class extends another class, the methods, the public methods that are here, 
So we talk about access modifiers later. So we have public, private, protected, or even we have default. So we talk about that later. Now for now, assume that public methods will be part of your derived class as well. So in this case, algebra is a parent class and total mass is a derived class. Now see here, I'll create an object. Now here, I'll create an object for total mass. OBJ is equal to new total mass. And now this object is of total mass object, not algebra object. But now I'm able to access dot add, even though we don't have add directly in this, because of this extends algebra, we're getting this method. Now when I run this code now, you can see here, when I run this code, I'm getting output as 11. So, so now this add is looking as if this is part of your total mass class. Now remember, if I remove this extends algebra, now if I remove this, I'll get an error because I don't have this add in this, in this total mass class. Now see here, I'm getting an error. The error says the method add is undefined in this total mass. Now I'll just write here extends algebra. So now I just wrote extends algebra. Now this method will, you can reuse the base class methods in the object of their class. So that is called inheritance. So what is inheritance? Inheritance is a process of reusing base class methods in the data class by using extends keyword. And here algebra is called parent class and total mass is called data class. Now, now you can also write something called one more, let's take I'm writing here, I'm writing here class, all subjects. And I'm writing here extends total mass. Now in this case, when you are extending total mass, this all subjects will get the methods that are there in total class as well as the methods that are present in, in algebra as well. So this is called grandchild. So all subject is a grandchild of this algebra. So algebra is a parent class, this child class and this subchild. Now when I create an object for all subjects, see here all ASU control space, obj is equal to new all subjects and and let me put brackets here. Now I'll write SYSO control space. OBJ dot, I'm writing here. I'm able to access add method 10 comma 20. Now that's there in algebra class I'm able to access. And this time I'll try to accept multi subtraction. Um, SYSO control space and OBJ dot subtract SUB and I'll write here 15 comma 25. Now, now if I run this code now, let's run the code. And you will see here, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting, I'm able to access add, which is there in algebra, and I'm able to access subtraction, which is there in total max. So in this case, all subject is a grandchild. Now let's try to understand different inheritance types. So let me open MS Paint. And when you have a single class as a parent and single class as a child, and that is called single inheritance. Now the best example that we have seen here is algebra class and the derivative class is total mass. Now this is an example for single inheritance. Now we have also seen multi-level inheritance in this example code that I've shown you. So where I have explained you about, so let me put here arrow mark like this. Now the example that I've explained here as we have algebra, which is having two methods, and total maths, which is getting uh, inheriting this. And here I have written all subjects. Now this way of extending is called multi-level inheritance. So multi-level inheritance, and I repeat, this is a single inheritance. This is multi-level inheritance. And we have one more called multiple inheritance. Now. Now when you have two base classes and one child class, now let me have, now like this. Now when you have two base classes and one child class, so that is called multiple inheritance and for classes, it is not supported in Java. For interfaces, it will support, but for classes, it is not supported in Java. What does it mean by this? Now I'll just write here. So what is this inheritance is called? 
single inheritance and what is this inheritance is called multi level inheritance and what is this inheritance is called multiple inheritance and remember this multiple inheritance is not supported for classes in Java now let's see this what I'll do here I'll go back now what I'll do here is I will delete this code now let me delete this I'll just write here class A and I'll write here I'll just leave it I'll write here class B now I'll write here class C now when I write here extends extends A that's allowed I'm not getting any error I don't see any red line here I don't see any red line so that's that's okay now when I write here now let me delete this now I try to inherit these and this now both here now I'll write here extends extends A now I don't get error because this class is extending only this class now I'll try to put here a comma B now I'll try to extend both the classes I'm getting an error so when I move the mouse on this you can see here I'm getting an error there is a red line let's see this what's the error so I'm getting an error so I cannot extend two classes and multiple inheritance for classes is not allowed in Java okay so what we just learned now is we learned about what is inheritance types of inheritance and we also have some other inheritance called hierarchical inheritance where we have like this where we have multiple like this we have hierarchy so hierarchical inheritance also is there but we don't use it very frequently so that's the reason why these are the three types of inheritance we use very frequently so one is single inheritance one is multiple inheritance one is multi uh, sorry multi level inheritance one is multiple inheritance and remember multiple inheritance is not supported for java and not supported for classes in java okay so i hope you are clear with the inheritance types of inheritance in the next module we'll see the next topics Thank you and see you in the next module.